Baby Bear Project has been very important for us because Valley Children's Hospital is a level four in ICU, which means that we get referrals for very complicated babies from all the valley. And uh, these little babies, many of them come with uh, congenital malformations or congenital defects. And um, that sometimes we have ways with genetics to identify what the cause of these genetic defects these babies have and we are able to then give the family a diagnosis. So whole genome sequencing is a very powerful technology and test combing through the entire human genome using the very powerful next generation sequencing. In comparison, the whole exome sequencing covers only 1% of the whole genome. So we are really excited about this very powerful test that we can use on our patients for diagnosis. They got us, they got us in a place where we know now. I guess uh, what I always say is when we found out, we found that needle in a haystack, you know, and, that, and, and now we know what to do with that needle. We're just happy that we know. We're happy that we know what it is now. Everything's so new, you know, even now, yes, you know the symptoms and he has loose skin, he has seizures, he had cataracts, he had a malrotation. Now that we know that, we see the symptoms, we can control them and tell other people, you know, what it is. Now that we have the hum that uh, whole genome sequencing, with that process now we're able to identify new diseases and sometimes when we identify a specific new congenital disease, there's also something that we can do to change the way we're taking care of the babies, which helps us and helps the families. So we are really delighted and consider it a privilege to be part of the Project Baby Bear and to be selected as one of the five sites in the state of California. We also consider it as a testament to the pivotal role our hospital plays in the health of children throughout the Central Valley of California. We hope to continue uh, to get this help even after the project is over. I hope this will become a reality for not just the medical patients, but also for the non-medical and private insured patients and some kind of legislative measures are taken